Welcome to a new video in the awesome.net Maui series. Also, we normally review libraries or plugins, adding new controls or functionality to .NET Maui here. Today, we are going to see an extension for Visual Studio. Do you want to know what it's about? You will not create projects for .NET Maui again in the same way. Let's go. When we create a new .NET Maui project, we can create it using different ways. We can use Visual Studio or even we can use the command line and we can choose between different project templates. We can use a template to create a .NET Maui application, a .NET Maui Blazor application or a .NET Maui class library. But what if we can use something to create projects with more details, with more contents? What if we can scout for all application from the project creation in a easy way. Today, I want to talk about a new extension for Visual Studio created by Matt Lacey that is called Maui Application Accelerator. The Maui App Accelerator, it uses a new tool that will allow you to scout for the project as much as you want. You can choose between, for example, uh, the, the coding style, the navigation pattern, you can include different page from different types, etc. etc. Matt Lacey is a Microsoft MVP, also has published some uh, nice books, and probably you have used in the past uh, some of their Visual Studio extensions because there are some really, really good ones. For example, the Rabbit Channel Toolkit or the Sentials for Wing UI, etc. etc. So going to the marketplace, you only need to tap the download button and install the extension in Visual Studio. And once you have installed it, you can see now in the Maui section, the Maui App Accelerator. So creating a new application with the Maui App Accelerator, for example, App Accelerator Test, we can tap the Create button and what will happen is that will appear a new dialog that is a, a wizard that will guide us between different steps. The first step is about, do you want to create your .NET Maui applications using .NET this? LTS or .NET 7 STS. In this case, I'm going to use the latest .NET version, in this case, .NET 7, NES. Now we need to choose the coding style. Do we want to use MVVM? Do we want to include the MVVM toolkit by default? In this case, take a look that we can see the number of listens that we can need to uh, use as a in this case, for example, using the markup, the C -sharp markup extension, just using C -sharp code without shamel files, or we can use the code behind options using shamel files, but with all the include the MVVM community toolkit, or we can use the MVVM community toolkit. I love the MVVM community toolkit, so I'm going to use it. And in the next step, we need to choose the uh, navigation styles, the navigation pattern. I'm going to require a flyout menu, I'm going to use tabs, a blank empty shell option that is always open to extend and create it as much as we want once we create the project. I'm going to create, for example, a flyout menu. And in the next step, we can create page. There are an option to create a blank page. There are an option to create a list detail page, a list of items that can navigate clicking one of the items to the view details, uh, an option to create image by drawing and subject lines, so using drawing, an option using a web view, in case you want to display HTML content, and also we can use some examples. For example, there is an example with the default official template that is use the .NET um, bot logo with a button that is uh, increasing a counter every time that we tap it, or we can use a localization example that will show you how to localize page using, in this case, uh, .NET MAUI. I love this option, so I'm going to create this localization example. And in the next page, we can also choose if we are going to include some interesting libraries, like for example, the community toolkit that uh, we was using the uh, MVVM 
a library from the community toolkit in case we want to use any control or any option included in the toolkit we can include it directly and also we can include XUnit to create unit testing of uh, the application this will create a secondary project and will include uh, the XUnit reference etc all for us so in summary we are going to create a .NET Seven application using the MVVN toolkit with a navigation style using shell and uh, a flyout menu. We are going to include the main page, of course, with a secondary page using localization. And we are going to include also the community toolkit with a project to do uh, unit testing using XUnit. So let's tape the create button. This is going to create everything for us. Now that we have the project created, we are going to launch it to see the result. Remember, we created uh, two projects, one with the .NET MAUI application, another one with the uh, unit test using XUnit. And in the .NET MAUI application, we created an application using shell with flyout using uh, MVPN. We can see here the views, view models folder. That's fantastic. We are going to check the code now after taking a look to the application running on Windows in this case. With application running, we can see that we have the main application. The main application, it's an empty page. And also we created the flyout. Uh, the flyout is uh, well designed with the default icon. That's great. With the localization page using localization and explaining how to use it so now going to the code and taking a look to the code we can see that um, we created the .NET MAUI application taking a look to the reference to the dependencies we can see different package between uh, of course the community toolkit MVPN and the community toolkit MAUI the first one is added and included because we choose to use it. And the second one is what uh, we selected in the last step, adding new features. And also we choose to create the unit testing project using XUnit. And we have here an empty class to be able to create the unit testing for our application with everything ready, adding the correct reference and everything necessary. We have uh, the global usings with the necessary here. We have the different views here. The main view is an empty page, so nothing interesting here. But uh, we have uh, the correct reference to the main view model. And we have the localization page using the markup extension that has been also created and added here to be able to provide the correct value based on the correct resource dictionary to use with these views that we have, of course, here under the strings folder, we have the default resource dictionary with the hello message, hello, and the hello message, hola, with the uh, correct translation into Spanish. Then we have a base view model that is used inheriting from observable object. And we have two view models, the main view model associated with the main page and the localization view model associated with the base view model. It's include a, uh, it's include a public property localized test with the correct hello message that we are going to bind to the uh, view. So instead of start with the empty project only with the four page included by the um, .NET MAUI project template, we can use create a more complex project. We can call for our application, including reference to the uh, more used libraries. We can create the X unit. If you have learned something new or liked the content, you can subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss new content when it appears. Remember, you can leave your opinion or feedback in the comments of the video. See you soon.